Right now, based on how the time look, I'm telling you guys, you wouldn't even guess what time it is right now. You guys wouldn't guess what time it is. Give me one second because a car was incoming. Let me just tell this person to give me one second. Well, good night, Planker Nations. Good night, aunties, uncles. Hold on. One second. Good night. Good night, guys. You know, as I come on, you just like up the live as I join. Let me know if you guys can hear me good because I was having a call coming in just now. And uh, because of that, you guys might not be able to hear what I'm saying good. But yeah, man, guys, the time is no. The time is no. The time is no. The time is no. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you, man. Guys, everything is coming together perfect. You know? When you thought that the semester couldn't get any better, <laughs> ah, the time is now. It's like everything just like, get better and better each and every day. Each and every day, everything is just getting better and better and better and better and better. And make a tell the guys on this live video, oh, everything just line up. And every disappointment is for a greater comeback. And make a tell the guys why. Good night. Good night to everyone that's just joining. This is a great day. It's a good day. A good week, to be honest. And I'm telling you, man, everything is going to get better and better as the time goes by. Let me tell you, hard work, hard work might not give you instant results. But trust and believe that <laughs> results are going to come. And that's what I realized. From, from putting in hard work, results are going to come, guys. Like, just, just believe just believe guys just believe i have that little faith oh my word guys i'm telling you this morning at this morning in my bed guys i was in my bed sleeping let me tell you what time i got the email hold on i want to tell you guys what time i got the email this morning let me refresh my account good Good, 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 good. Today's the other week. Wednesday. <laughs> yes, today is Wednesday. It's always midweek. We're almost at the weekend. But let me tell you something, guys. Let me tell you. Um, Yolanda Lee, is the, is the recording... Can you guys hear me while I speak? Or is it, you know, delaying? Can you guys hear me what, while I speak? Or is it delaying? Because I want you guys to hear everything, what I'm saying, on point. I see Yolanda saying that the, my voice is not matching up with the uh, recording, so it's no longer delayed. Okay, okay, we are good now. But yeah, man, guys, I tell you guys, I, I was in my deep sleep this morning when I got the email. And I was like, hold on, me? You know, come here, say, me? Oh, man. And you know, the, the thing is that I got two of the emails then back to back, right? Because the first email... All right, well, I'm going to just kind of make sure it's in on a private information is not showing because, you know, me, when me get excited, me just show everything. Well, hold on. The first email, right? Let me, okay, let's just go close. It's say, hi, Uran. This is the guy that came to the career fair, right? The career fair, the same one that I got the headshot from, right? He said, hi, Uran. Thanks again for having us create your new headshot at last week's Norquest College Career Day. I have a quick favor to ask. I'm writing a blog post about our participation at the career fair and how we provided headshots to nearly 300 people. So all that 300 people, you know, guys. And, and this goes to show, you know, this goes to show there was over 300 persons that they took headshot photos on, on the career day, right? And the fact that he emailed me, like he singled me out. And let me tell you something, me and this... This gentleman, we had a very good conversation, right? We had a very good conversation before I took my photos. Like, you know, we were talking about, um, you know, different headshots, you know, how to pose for the photos. You know, he was like, hey, you have to do this. You know, you can like squint your eyes to let you give you that professional look. You understand? And like, I had one of my friends even videoing the photo shoot. You know, and he can see that I was very interested, you understand, in just being there, getting good photos. He saw that I was interested and, you know, it's like I left an impression because, come on, he remembered me out of 300 people. 
right he said that he would like to include some of the headshots which means that obviously it's not going to be all of the headshots right he wants to use some of the headshots to write a blog about what you know they contributed to Northwest College Fair and he was asking for my permission to use one of my headshots out of 300 people i know there's gonna be some good people reading these blogs you know guys we can't think small-minded you have to think okay when they write this blog who is going to read this blog you know maybe they even want to know your name he has my email so he can always reach out you might never know who want or who you know they can say okay man this guy looks serious you know based on the photo and they might want to come into contact and, and you know find out things and things i'm like yeah let's 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 do this they understand like let us do this guys and when i thought that was just the 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 the, 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 the um gloom of the day right when i thought that that was the gloom of the day we get the email from the head of the rbc group well our group at norquest saying that oh they're having donors event guys you know don't guys you know who are donors in norquest college we are talking about some rich right? guys guys we are talking about some people in a high guys not even like get on the essay right now you know guys i'm not even understand you know guys Norquest donors, they're like, I don't even understand. I don't even know. Guys, we see when they go into our college, they have this wall at the front of the college specifically for the donors. We are we're not talking about no local donation, you know, guys. We are talking about these donors putting into the school fifty thousand Canadian dollars, hundred thousand Canadian dollars. These donors are people, persons who are in high places, and. The fact that they ask for a student to come on and be the MC, right? You know, it's a mega start event. And you understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah, guys, we're not, guys, we're like, we're not see what this means. Guys, this is this will be held in the Sigmar building. Just like email said, I don't want to show any personal information. Hold on. Just like email said, from 5 to 7 p.m. in Sigmar on April 23rd. That's a little bit over a month from now. Norquest is hosting its first annual donor award reception. And the advancement team thought it would be great to have a student, uh, uh, to have a student as the MC. See, guys, they know what that means, guys. Right? You know what that means. They were gonna, I'm going to be in front of big people in big, big positions. We're not talking about no little, little people, guys. You understand? A big position people, they want me for control. Because basically, that's what they want me to do. They want me to control the event, right? You know, make a start the event, right? And in any new activities to come on me, I got introduce these new activities, right? In the engagement skills, you know, I'm gonna have to be the one. I'm the, I'm the MC, right? And then I'm gonna have to conclude the event. And guys, these people, you know, you know, if I go, I'm gonna shut it up. You know? Guys, if I go and I shut it up, I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna do good, good, good as the MC. Guys, these people are gonna say, yeah, man, this youth, this guy is different. He's not like the ordinary student. I want to know who is he? Like, you know, who am I? And guys, this is what we're talking about worthy connections worthy connections guys worthy worthy connections worthy connections from these donors these donors are donors of northwest college and let me tell you something and then a little thousand two grand ten thousand dollars they are donating fifty thousand dollars to the college hundred thousand dollars to the college and you know they look out for the students i can't tell a lie you know they really really look out for these students and me guys remember you know Guys, look, look, let, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you why this is even a much greater thing. Norquest College has over 10,000 students, believe. We have over 10,000 students, right? In just the business department, we have over 4,500 students in just the business department. You understand? You understand? In just the business department. And them could ask, bear in mind, they could ask anybody from the school, right? 
them could ask anybody to be an MC. Anybody, right? But a man name come up. <laughs> you saw the email saying? Okay, let's see what the email says. Right, Your name came up. You understand? And so if you are interested, let me know and I will connect you with organizers for future detail. With the organizer, rather, for future details. All speaking notes will be provided to you. You get what I'm saying, guys? So, oh, to everybody else, why my name came up? That's the good question. Let me tell you, guys. Guys, I told you. When I came here, what I want to do, put myself in the crowd. Make everybody know me. Guys, let me tell you something. I want to I wanna share something with you guys. No. My, my guys, guys, it's so it's so life funny. Look how my thing to the career fear was a disappointment. Look how my thing the career fear was something that I never get anything out of much. You understand? That's what I was saying to myself. Like I waste my waste my time, you know, look like this and you know come here like this and now I not really get nothing much. You understand? But then I see this email and I remember on the career day, right? When I went in my blazer, I look bash, I look dapper, as you guys would say, right? I go in my blazer, I look dapper, and when I go into the crowd, guys, it's like I look different from everybody else. I look like a recruiter myself. You understand? I look like a recruiter, I'm telling women in the crowd. Nobody in the bush like me. Nobody in the bush like me. The one the career court see me, the career court say, hey, What's going on, you rain? I mean, I said, the career coach know my name. <laughs> and I said to myself, I said, wait, the career coach know my name. I'm going to say, hey, Monica, I'm doing great, man. And she said, you're looking lovely today. <laughs> you know what I'm I said, thanks, Monica. I said, people know me. You understand? And then, you know, I went around, you know, talked to some recruiters, you know, talked to some other people. You understand? And then, in the afternoon, now, I had my RBC ambassador meeting to go to. I had that meeting after the career day. So I went to the meeting now. Amanda was there, the same person that you know sent me this email to say they want me to be the MC of the event. She was there. Right? And uh, when I went to the meeting, obviously I went into my blazer, right? Everything, everything looked nice. And I looked good, I looked presentable. I was <laughs> I was one of the best looking in the room. You understand? I was one of the best looking person, student in the room. Right? And I can tell him, I see a man that looks at me and a man that say, Yeah, man, this boy is ready. I post up on my LinkedIn page. When I post on my LinkedIn, a man that's always there liking my, my LinkedIn post. Love the achievements, love the progress. And she realized that, hey, this is one of her, of her ambassadors that can, you know, deliver good results. You understand? This is one of her students that can put, make her and the program feel proud. Right? So I'm telling you, man, the, the, the career day, in conclusion, the career day was not a waste. This was what the career day was made for. Because remember, you know, guys, between me and you, you and I might never know what this career day might bring. You and I might never know who is going to be at, in attendance at the career day. Who are these donors? Right? Who do they associate with? Right? Who will I meet? Who will I connect with? Right? You might never, you might just never know. And this all stems, this is all stemming from the career day when I went to the career day. You see, as, well, as what Valrich, Valrich just said in the comments, when one door closed, another will be open. Yeah, man, guys. Yeah. Every this time I'm when it's very great to come back. What are you saying, man? Me ready. So you know what I'm saying? All right. Yes, Angela Tedisco. Every disappointment works out for the better good, which is true. It's proven to be so right now. We yes, man, Lizzie. Guys, see, Lizzie said, you're in, you are taking this college to a next level. We yes, man, guys. Guys, me, I take the college itself, and me, I take myself, right, and my own to the next level. Oh, when I say, man, guys, Mojo, welcome to the, to the live. Mojo, I haven't seen you in years. I haven't seen Mojo in years. Mojo, you all right? <laughs> I've really asked. Is, is that Mojo? Is that Mojo? I don't understand if that is Mojo. I haven't seen Mojo in years, but welcome to the live, Mojo. 
You understand? Yeah, man. Me I tell my guys, every disappointment is for a greater comeback. Someone said, you're in, you have to buy the black suit. The black suit soon come in, guys. The black suit soon come in. But when me I think about now, uh, you see, even with the blazer now, guys, that's a great investment. The blazer. And thanks to those who assisted me in getting my blazer as well. Right? Thanks to those. Um, Auntie Coley Cool. Well, you know Auntie Coley Cool, of course. Everybody know Auntie Coley Cool, right? Big up to Auntie Coley Cool for assisting me in getting my blazers and also let me see i don't want to call the name on this person if i wanted the name to be called so let me just ensure that yes man yeah and also planker family this is what she wants to be uh, you know addressed by planker family in cali Don, right she sent let me let me let me hold on let me tell you guys how much you sent. You sent 300 Canadian dollars towards me getting my blazers. The two blazers, you sent 300 Canadian dollars. So big up to, let me get by the name, Planka family in Calidon, as well as big up to Auntie Cooley Cool. Auntie Cooley Cool gave $150, right? Let me just verify that. Yes, yeah, $150. And she mentioned that whenever my credit card bill came back and the $150 was towards the shoes. Yeah, just to make it specific, that was towards the shoes, right? Now, she said that um, whenever my credit card, the statement come back, she will take care of that. So, I understand. So, big up to my aunties, the Blanca family that assisted with getting the suits. And let me tell you something, they're not going to waste because right now, we have Wally, one Wally events coming up. Guys, listen, hold on. I have... The case competition the next week in the guys next weekend we're gonna Calgary next weekend for the week we're not home next weekend in the guys we're gonna Calgary next weekend you understand um the tax clinic this Friday we have a business case practice to attend and they require us to wear our blazers because this this is gonna be like a comprehensive practice a full day practice and we're gonna have judges coming in to watch us this Friday you understand so yeah man. We need to win our blazer this Friday. Or we need it next weekend. You understand? And we're going to need it on the 23rd again when we got the MC. You understand? And we're going to need it for the interviews then when we have a come up too. You say, no, say, oh my God. I was like, big up to God. You understand? Just big up God. Big up God every time. Big up God every, 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 every time. Big up God every time. And guys, we don't want to change the topic, you know. We don't want to change the topic. But may I tell you guys, imagine this is spring. Spring is back again. Right, we are back in spring right now because, as you can see, guys, what time? Guys, who can guess what time it is? Because we are we are back in spring, you know. We are back in spring right now. It's coming, and then when summer comes, it's gonna even be much brighter at this time. When summer comes, it's gonna even get way way brighter. But what, who can tell what time it is right now? Six. Ah. <laughs> uh, I wish it was actually six o'clock. I'd have, I would have some more time to get things done, but it's not six. It's seven thirteen right now. Yeah, so it's almost seven half or past seven, and it going into eight. It's probably died down by seven thirty. It might get black at least close to eight o'clock. But yeah, seven thirteen right now, and then when the summertime come, even by ten o'clock. This, this is how we're gonna look at like ten o'clock in the summer. Trust me. This is how we're gonna look at 10 o'clock in the summer. Yeah, so this is our outside look at seven. Yep, yep, 7.13. And you know, this is good weather. This is absolutely great weather. Like, uh, this is like, I think it's a plus four right now. Yeah, nice weather outside today, you know, and uh, snow. the snow is melting off the ground now. If you guys look right there, the snow is melting. That is very dangerous. You see that right there? That is very, very dangerous. If you walk on that without being aware that, you know, yeah, trust me, you will you will slide and yeah, it won't be pretty. <laughs> trust me, it won't be pretty. That's that right there, very, very dangerous. You will you can potentially, you know, take yourself to your, your own death just by walking on that. Slippery ice, nothing to play with. I'm telling you, you can you can break bones. You could, you know, slap your head on the in, on the asphalt. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that guy. But as we as I still, guys, 
Um, yeah. Yeah, look, I know the sun, the sun down, you know, still. But um, as I was saying, guys, things is working out in the right, right, right way. Things working out in the right, 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 the perfect way, right? The perfect way. Someone said you should buy different color shirts to go with the suits. Well, I have a, I have two different color shirts. I have a pink shirt, and I have a. Uh, what, what should I like? Black shirt, right? I have a pink shirt and a black shirt, you know. So, I have some different color shoots. And yes, I am Jamaican. Someone said, "Watch your step." My boy gonna be Jamaican. I'm Jamaican, of course, definitely Jamaican. Novelin White said, "Uren, you really make us proud. You delivered and continue to deliver. Definitely, definitely not ease up, not easing up." Hope your mom is aware of the moves you're making and the awesome impact you're having on important people abroad. Proud. I wish mommy as well was, you know, aware of what's going on, but mommy don't even have, even have a device and even and does, doesn't know how to use a device. So, you know, only time she hears about is when I speak to her, you know, but yeah, try to catch her up as much as possible. And guys, do you think it would be impossible? Like, I don't know. I just say it, but... Guys, do you think it would be impossible to get mommy to come to the graduation, taking into consideration her situation? Right? Let me let me say that again. Do you think it would be impossible to have mommy coming to the graduation, taking into consideration her situation? Do you think it would be impossible? Because I don't know. I spoke with grandma and she's saying that that would be a very hard task to get done. You know? But I don't believe it's impossible. So what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. I think it could, it could work out for her to actually come. Hmm? What do you guys think about? I don't know. I honestly don't know, man. I don't know. No, it's not impossible. Yeah, I know it's not impossible for sure. Nothing is impossible. What did I'm saying? You know? Nothing tried. That's, the, that's what I was going to say, Rosemary Brown. Nothing tried, nothing done. Hi, Auntie Dari Mix. We got in the mix. Anything is possible. Yeah, it will be. I, I really wanted. I really wanted to get to really, really to get it done. But, guys, we have to start from like as. I have to start. You know, I have to start. Yeah, I have to start like getting her on her treatment, right? And that's 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 the part. But what 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 I spoke to Grandma. Grandma told me is that um she's assigned to Yui. So I would have to find some way to like assign her to Bellevue, right? How do I get her assigned into Bellevue? Like grandma doesn't know about Bellevue because she, she never, you know, been in contact with Bellevue before. It's really just Yui that they had taken her. So how can I get in, in contact with Bellevue? Or, you know, how could we get, I just want to know, like, how do we get, you know, persons like that to Bellevue or to have them come and give her the injection? My mother... She always outside. She's always outside. So you can not even have a, like a time to say, all right, she's going to be home at this time. It's, it's unpredictable. You know? So it's like, I don't know. Mommy is just always not at, ho not at the home. So guys, I'm thinking about it. Because what I want to do now, remember I told you guys the last time I had something that I'm planning to do, Right? Right? See if Auntie Dunn can help you. She has connection. Ask Auntie. Alright, I'm gonna ask my mother. I'm gonna ask my mother. I'm gonna ask my second mommy. I'm gonna have to ask my second mommy. Alright. Because I never knew Auntie actually had connections with Bellevue. I never knew. I never knew that. I never knew that. Alright, I'm gonna have to ask my second mother. Alright. I'm gonna ask Auntie then, guys. Because if it if if it could work, right? Me I tell you, if it could work, guys, if it could work and I could get mommy here, oh my word, man. And mommy in her right mind too. If me guys, I've never from from me born, me how much now? Me I'm 19. I'm 19 years of age. I've been on earth 19 years. And from me born and me have sense. I've never seen my mommy. You know, in her right state of mind. Never seen mommy in her right state of mind. So I don't know what 
my real mother is like. You know, I get me ask the guys like, like I don't know what my real like. I know my mother, but I don't know what my real real mother is like. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Mojo said you disagree. Why ask only then about that? The best option is to call the facility and ask them how to. They will guide you accordingly. Someone else said below below that just Google Bellevue Hospital number is there. Call them. And that's what I was thinking too. Like, you know, find some way to reach out to them. But I'm guessing what, what, what others are saying is not to have auntie do like all the work but like you know provide information you know i mean the more information the better right you know which route to go i mean they might never know what auntie that i might know that could be beneficial so i guess it's just to put it cross auntie and you know see what she would have to say about the situation and then from there you know me and my family could go me and my family could go further to do the actual connections in terms of get, get the contacts and all that but just to you know ask auntie because you know of course she would have some information based on what you guys are seeing right here about the entire workings of the bellevue hospital so at least she could you know give some extra information as it relates to guidance and how to do certain things someone said it's easier because she's in jamaica so she can lead you in the right direction that as well you know that as well so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna look in I'm gonna work I'm gonna see how best I can work out something to have her good and guys if 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 I can even get her on her medication say by end of May you know June you know by June if, if I can get her on her medication by June do you think she'll be okay by say September like do you think she would be all right like in her right mind by September? Someone said to call her, she donates to them so she can make connection for you. Yeah, what do you guys think? Like, do you think... Let me know what you guys think. Do you think she'll be okay for September? Because that's 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 the initial goal. If she can't be okay for September, then it gives me some time to apply for her visa, right? Right. Someone said in the comments. Someone said in the comments. Frank, Frank said, she need to fly with a nurse. Uh, Miss John Foster, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing your comment, Miss John Foster. Could you let me? I'm I'm scrolling back up. I'm not seeing your comment. I'm not seeing your comment, Miss John Foster. She needs to fly with a nurse. How true is that? I don't know. I don't know how true that one is. But I would imagine, I mean, I don't know. Like, if she's back to her normal state, she actually needs to have a nurse by her side. Sometimes it can take time for medication balance, correct? Beverly Cummins said she don't have to fly with no nurse. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like, you know, if she's in her right mind, because that's the reason why, you know, we would have her on the medications, right? If she's in her right mind on the medication, then she's just like any normal human being, irrespective of her um, medical history. I mean, she has been actively taking her medications, you know, visiting the hospital, I mean, that should be enough for her to fly on her own, right? Let me see what you guys are saying. And that, that as well, yeah, exactly, Gemini Twin. Yeah, exactly, yeah, no, she wouldn't fly a nurse. Exactly, guys. She wouldn't fly alone, right? She wouldn't fly alone. Grandma would be there because I'm going to um, see if I can get grandma to come as well. Yeah. Yeah, man. So grandma would be there. Right. And this would also be grandma first time flying too. You know, so that would be 
That will be an experience for both of them. Right? But she would have grandma by her side, which is her mommy, of course. So it's like mother daughter flying. You know, it's like mother daughter flying, you know. So I mean that would be good, right? Yeah. Um, Miss Cohen said the injection works very fast. Let me do a quick Google search. Um how soon can a patient Uh, let me see. Let me see right here. What the Google is saying. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Grandma will be. Grandma will be with her, man. Yeah. Yeah, grandma will be flying with her. But will she have access to the medication when she comes? Um, well, I don't know. Whatever set up all that, guys. Like, I don't know. I guess they would have, like, medication for her from Jamaica. I don't think they can come into the country with medication either. So I'm guessing that... I don't know. I mean... I don't know guys, I'm gonna have to make a move, right? And get like more information from like a professional as it relates to this matter and get guidance from them. Yeah, because I don't know if it can come into the country with med medications. I'm not sure. I mean I don't I don't I don't know. I'll have to find out more about that. Some novelet okay, so you guys are saying you can bring the medication with with with, with her. And Jennifer Francis says the injection will start to work in a couple of days depending on the severity of her mental health. That's the next thing as well. Her mommy hasn't been on any medication for a long time, right? My mother, she hasn't been on any medication for a long, long time. So, you know, it's going to be not the easiest to have her come back. Someone said outpatient follow-up needs to be in place, but extra meds to go with her in case of any delays. And then you guys are also saying that I can, she can, she's allowed to travel with the medications too. But if that's the case, then that would be amazing then. Okay. Okay, okay, understood. Okay, guys. Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. That makes life much easier knowing that she can come with the medication all right that makes life a lot more easier then okay that's good so it's really and truly just to get her on the medication now why that that part they're kind of puzzling no 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 like to get her on the medication i don't know like we're gonna have to find some way to be at the house at the exact time when she's there and have them give her the medication I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know how, how the plan as it relates to getting her on the medication work good. Miss Jennifer Francis said the doctor can prescribe her medications for the duration of her stay. Okay. Okay, that, well, that's good. That's good then. That's that's good. That's that's good. That's good. Well, yeah, I'm gonna reach out. Yeah, she has to be stable to travel. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reach out to the hospital, Bellevue. And, uh, well, not me. I might have grandma because for me to call them from here, it's like a lot of money. But I might have grandma reach out and uh, ask them, you know, the procedure and how we can get her on her medications. Hmm.
So uh, Michael Mitchell James rather said, not sure about Canadian travel protocols, but my mom who has Alzheimer's traveled from Jamaica to America with her meds without issue. Okay. We also had our helper as a travel companion. Okay, so that it can be not it doesn't have to be a family member then. Okay, so you guys are saying that there is no set time as it relates to when she could be better. It's only depending on her specific situation and how her body responds to the medication. Okay. Wow. Wow. Guys, is this, is this? Wow. Guys, before we can like do the visa application, we we'll need her to get better, right? We we'll need her to get better. We need her to get better. Wow. Sorry to hear about that depart Melbourne, but good to hear that your dad is doing great. That's good to hear. Wow. But that does love to see mommy good. Even if you don't get to come back, like even if she don't get to come to the graduation, just knowing that she take her meds, like knowing that she's on medication. Oh my lord. That would be so good, guys. I know, I know. That would be like better than everything. Like better than that would be better, that would be better than the graduation itself. That would be better than the graduation itself if I found out that mommy is good. I swear. Channel stars. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God is in control indeed. Wow. I'm just hoping that everything works out, you know, for mommy. You get me? I tell you, just now, I just came off the call with, every, with, the, with the family. I just came off the call with everybody. Right? Grandma, aunties, um, brother, cousins nephew it felt good it felt good speaking to just everybody at once you know speaking to the entire family i'm a family person you know guys like i love family it's just you know sometimes i wish things were different in terms of like you know me having more time for them because family is important but also you know taking care of my business in canada is also important so sometimes i don't even get time to talk to family as i would like to talk to them but um, it was good. It's always a good time and refreshing seeing everybody, you know, seeing back cousins, you know, here's them. I want to meet up with my family whenever I like, might look at cousin them at the good in the school. So I'm just called call today and I heard that the little one, right, we call her Simoy, she's on honor roll. She's in, she's in basic school, <laughs> but she's on honor roll. Well, actually, she's, she should be in, in grade one, actually. But yeah, she's on honor roll. And I'm like, yeah. Proud of her. Proud, proud. I love to hear them, them, them things, you know? Mm -mm. Wow. Yes, Miss Velma Gill, family is certainly the most important thing. Without family, it's like you have nothing. Like, no job, house, car. Definitely not even more important than your family. You understand? Yeah. Sometimes they might not get along good, right? Which is a part of every family. What is how we react to that. You understand? How we want to get it back and be a family. That's like the most, the more beautiful part. When everybody can come back together. I love each other. You get me, I said? Yeah, grade one and already on the roll. That's what I'm saying, right? I just hope that, you know, it'll continue in the same path. Because I may tell them, I have, have strong faith in all of my family members. Them. Anything they want, we just feel so they can get it. You understand? Yeah. 
and my little cousin doing exceptionally well. I have to big her up. Yeah. Yeah, guys. It has been... It has been a week. Uh, guys, I believe you. Uh, someone said, contact Delby directly to obtain the criteria you're requesting. And secondly, contact the Canadian Embassy Airlines to explain your mom's situation so they can assist with information. Yeah, I'll have to reach out and see. Yeah, that, that's a good plan. That's a good plan to like know in advance as you relates to if, if they could accom accommodate her or not. Right? You get me? So yeah. I would have to see. Keep doing your best on lots of love and prayers. <laughs> Mojo said, but never mix family and your money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Not with your personal funds. Give them what you have to give them, but personal funds. Yeah, it's a risky business. <laughs> I was my last exam. I did an exam on Monday. Finance exam. Finance as usual. One of the, I wouldn't say the hardest course, but the lecture makes it hard. It's not hard, but the lecture does make it hard. You know, especially the exam, it's only an hour and 15 minutes. Yet still we have four discussion questions to do. And we have 36 multiple choice, choice questions to answer. And you know it's finance. You have to use calculations and, you know, different projection schedules. It was worse. But you have lectures like that. And I mean, hey, have four good lectures out of five. And have one that's not so good. I mean, it's still a blessing. I mean, having four good lectures is like, you don't see that every day. But yeah. Someone said, your mom needed to stay in the, hospital, in the hospital for at least six months and I prefer the injection. It's much better than the tablet. Yeah, that's true. I'd imagine the injection is more effective and faster. But six months, it was in May, June, July. May, June, July, August, September, October. Well, I mean, yeah, because I mean, my graduation it isn't until May, right? May of next year. So, I mean, if I start this May, then so of most can work out for next year, May, right, guys? If I start the process this May, then so of most can work out for next year. I don't know still. I'm just a prayer, you know, like, you might never know. You might never know. Someone said, have you purchased the frame for your checks as yet? No, I haven't purchased the frames for the check as yet, but I'll be doing that this weekend, actually. Thanks to remind me that I need to add that to my schedule. Yeah, I've, I've got a few things on my schedule I'm gonna get done this weekend because this week is just exam, filing taxes. Oh, I haven't told you guys, but I filed two taxes this week. Well, yes, yesterday morning. The tax pay started on Monday. I did two hours yesterday and I filed two taxes, <laughs> right? So that was good. You know, that was, it felt good like filing taxes for people and like registering with CRA and, you know, having, helping them get back refund on their taxes. So that was good. And, you know, I have a next shift on next week, Monday. So I should be filing more taxes next week, Monday. And I should be filing as the week go along. So, I mean, hey, I'm telling you. Filing taxes is like the resume is just going up, man. The resume is just building, you know. Yeah, the resume is building, guys. Like I'm telling, I've been, I've been doing a lot of things, in the guys. I've been doing so many things. I've been building my resume. I've been building myself. I've started back going to the gym. I'm gonna be going to the gym again tonight. I was out of the gym for two weeks, and I felt so bad within myself. Like I felt, but you know, I feel different within myself being out of the gym. But now I'm going back to the gym. Feel good. I'm ready again. May I push through March. Guys, but when we look into the future from in our January, I'm looking at March. We can say, yeah, March is going to be a tough month. March, a new March was going to be a tough month. But may I push through March. And what do you want on March 13? Tomorrow is the 14. Almost halfway. And may I punch it up. Yeah, I'm just pushing through March. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Also, oh, 
Okay. Someone said, um, when she sees this, the psychiatric tell your family to explain her entire situation in regards to her not being at home most of the time so they can prescribe the monthly injection. Hmm. Okay. It makes sense. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm taking note of all these in the back of my brain. So I'll just remember like, you know, the important aspects like that one. Yeah. For sure, I will tell him that you know, she, you know, she's always out and about. So, what's the best way to administer her treatment? Yeah. The dark ship. Hello. Um, I can't play any song on the live video. It will block the live. But yeah, you know, Kamala Hyatt said, "Loving the vibe," you know. Yeah, I love. I love him the vibe too. <laughs> I know everyone else loves the vibes, you know. I'm loving the vibe too, honestly. You know, it's a good vibe. You know, it's just mm, there's been a great semester. I can't complain, guys, to be honest. I'm very grateful as well for just everything in general. You know, for the people around me, for you guys, for my lectures, the bad and good one, them everybody. Like, I'm just grateful for everything in my life right now, guys. You understand I'm grateful for, uh, grateful for this YouTube channel look right now oh sorry my YouTube channel is growing like really 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 growing right I have 29,775 subscribers let me tell you something man I was just coming from I don't know how much I was coming from but I was nowhere near 29,000 in the last week right um I got plus 5k in just 28 days and i sure if i refresh right now i sure if i refresh my subscript my, my page right now i get at least one more subscribers i just know if i refresh this page it's gonna move to at least 29,777 we just know let, 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 let us try watch it it's a match really guys not even 29,777. Not even 29,777, but it moved up to 29,793. I'm almost at 29,800. Two more, 200 more subscribers. I'm at 30,000. Yeah. It just been like everything in my life has just been going great. And God see and know why. God see and know why. Someone said Andrew to Valedictorian. I wanna say man, he's <laughs> up on the stage and I'm gone. You understand? Speaking on behalf of the entire graduation class of 2025. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, tell you, you know. Oh my lord. 30k is coming soon, Valrich. 30k is coming soon. Appreciate the new subscriber as well. You know, I'm seeing Hunter Brown in the comments down below. I'm hoping Caleb Macnut went ahead to subscribe as well. Shout out to you. Marvia Smith said, I am putting on weight. Are you sure? Hmm? Me and put on weight, guys. When you say, I am putting on weight. Guys, me, not, me and put on weight. Guys, every, 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 life, every, every life, there is at least one person that says i am putting on weight every life every life there is one person <laughs> yeah someone brenda palmer said congrats on your child growth this will help you significantly financially now and going forward god is watching over you and blessing you on your way to your bachelor not even on my way to my bachelor but rather on my way to my cpa license guys i'm gonna tell people say like like when people say like on your way to your bachelor I'm like, bachelors, bachelors is nothing in this economy right now. Like, in this economy, if you never have a CPA license, if you never have a designation, you're not really there at the top, top. So right now, I'm going towards being a chartered professional accountant, the designation in my field. And so I'm going to get that now. I can go ahead to be above the rest as well as more on a skill. Like, more on some type of construction. I don't know. I just want to learn that skill. Like, I want to learn that some type of skill. So, like, if one time accounting just get boring, we just, you know, want branch out maybe, like, we just want to do some office work for some years. I mean, some construction work for some years or something. You get me? Like, my video can show. I mean, I have it, right? 
So I might do some skills, you know, and like, hey, you might ever come on, this is life. Like, life is here to explore, you know? Life is here to explore. Oh, who is this? Someone asks, this the Jamaican T.I.'s son. I don't understand what that what the person is saying. But yeah, life is here to explore. You might never know what you can do as an individual, right? No, make, don't let anyone limit your skills. Like, don't let anyone stop you from finding your inner talents. You understand? Like, I'm doing accounting right now, but hey, you might never know. I might be good at construction and I don't even know, right? So I'm going to just branch out into just anything. Someone said, um, hold on. Someone said, yes, you are putting on weight. <laughs> Seriously, guys, we'll be up with our weight. I'm not going to tell. Uh, show the subscribers. Uh, let's see if we reach the 29,800. Let us see. We are watching subscribers grow now. We are watching the subscribers grow. We're watching the subscribers grow. Yeah, someone said, well, Michelle James said, uh, you're, in, you're the Usain of financial track. <laughs> Thanks to the, subs, the uh, super chat as well. And yeah, you know what I mean? Like, hey, we have no time to waste. Start uh, on your mark, set. By the time the Richard set, I'm already at go. You know, so I'm telling you, we got no time to waste, man. We have no time to waste. Yes, you and you are putting on weight. Let me see your status. Like, you know, my face. I mean, is it a good thing? Is it a good thing? Because, you know, sometimes your face get too big. You know, understand? You know? I don't know. Is it a good thing? Joan said, hi, my grandson. So proud of you. Continue to pray. Focus. You will always be the best in everything you do. Oh, thank you so much, Grandma Joan. That's join in the comments down below. Thank you so much. Mojo Mojo now said that yes, you are filling out as a result of you working out. Oh my. Well, I mean, make it big in my arms. Yeah, I mean, my arms were big at one point until like I, I stopped working out for like two weeks, you know? So yeah. Also, thanks to Marlene Leon. She sent a super chat. Thank you so much to you, Marlene Leon. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate the super chats. <laughs> really do. Really, really appreciate it. Um, someone said, are you Jamaican? Yes, real born and girl yard man from Kingston, Jamaica. Um, Maureen Dixon, yes, it is showing in your face. Wow. Okay. Okay, as long as it's not bad. <laughs> As long as it's not bad. Also, thanks to Jeanette Johnson for sending a five dollar super chat, and also not only that, but also being a member of this channel, right? Because I do have like a member thing, a membership thing, right? That person can become a member of this channel, and it shows beside Jeanette Johnson's name. You can see that little star. So it's it's not a sticker for those who don't know, but it's actually the membership beside of her name so thank you for the super chat to everyone that's in the sent the super chat i'm actually talking about that i told you guys i'm gonna you know go ahead to go to the gym so i'm gonna actually make myself some protein shake you know so i can do that together on the live video but yeah let us see if i went to twenty nine thousand eight hundred. hopefully right hopefully do you guys think i went to the twenty nine thousand eight hundred? Do, do you guys think so let us see let us see if I went to 29,800. I'm going to refresh. Ah, big up on yourself. Big up to everyone that went ahead and subscribed. Big up on yourself. So I'm currently at 29,810 subscribers. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate the extra subs and to just grow the channel and, you know, yeah, get it and share my journey to more people, you know, share my life with you guys, you know, shares tips and tricks about international student life, you know, and yeah, even to motivate you guys, you know, motivate people, it doesn't have to be young people, it can be all the people that, hey, no matter what, you can achieve what you put your mind towards, you know, motivate and just go at it, this world, just spread your wings in the world, Diana Barnett said, you're going to celebrate my 63 what? 63rd. 
63rd guys put some birthday some birthday hats in the comments for diana bartnett happy belated birthday to you diana bartnett wow 63rd you know that's a lots of person i haven't lived to see that age i would like to see 63 one day honestly i'll imagine you take serious consideration when it comes down to your health 63 that's a lots of years man that's a lot of years I need to make myself a protein shake. All right, so let me just get. I might, I might, I might just have a little, not too much, so I'm gonna use this here. So, Diana Barnett, happy belated birthday to you, Diana Barnett. Happy belated birthday to you. Someone said you cannot go wrong. Someone said you cannot go wrong when you have a construction license or a nursing license. No, that's true. Like I can tell you, those occupations, man, they are in high, high, high demand. And this was even shown on the career fair. The career fair proved how persons, you know, nurses, especially in Canada, if you say nursing anywhere, I guess not anywhere, but you know, if you have a nursing background, you you'll be of great assets to here in Canada. I'm telling you, man. Yes, yeah, so happy belated birthday to Diana in the comments, guys. I'm going to be making myself protein shake. I'm going to show you guys how I make my protein shake, too. Um, let me see. Do I have the right? Okay, yes. Yeah, so, oats. I use oats. Right? I use oats. Um... Right, my oats, I'm already not oats, so I'm gonna have to get some soon. So I use oats in my protein shake. Maybe like uh, this amount of oats, you guys can see. And I uh, also have just a little bit of milk inside of it to give it a little nice taste. Not much. Right, there we go. And then I also put banana with it as well. So I have a banana right here, right here, and go ahead and just, poops, and go ahead again, and just, poops, and go ahead, and just one banana inside. You guys see what's going on? All right, then, time for the real thing. We have finally protein powder. I use this one, no wonder why you guys are no wonder why you guys are saying that I'm getting fat. Because I use the high quality mass gainer. So no wonder, you know, why you guys saying I'm getting fat. Someone said to keep the milk in the in the into the refrigerator. I, put, I always I always put milk in the cupboard. Is is that not is that is that not where the milk it should go? Someone said, wow, your kitchen is so clean. Of course, guys, that's one thing. Like, in the kitchen space, my roommate and I, we try to keep it as clean as possible. Even though we have school and obligations, like, this is one, this is one place in the, in, in the house or the apartment that we try to keep as clean as possible. You know? And then, of course, fi finally, have some milk right here. Okay, someone said when you open the milk, you put it in the oh, does they know say let me tell you something. My milk when I think when I open it, I just put it in the cupboard and then oh sorry about that guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, once it open it should be in there. Okay, don't, did you put the milk back in the cupboard? Yes, that's exactly what I did. It should be in the refrigerator. Got you, got you guys. I got you guys. You see, on every live video, you learn something new. But guys, tell me, why do we put it in the refrigerator? Tell me, why do, why, why, is there a reason behind it? I would love to know the reason. Why is it that we put it in the refrigerator? Is there a reason? Like, like if you guys can tell me the reason and it's the exact thing of what's going on, Tell me why. Because sometimes my milk, they get tough in the cupboard. They get like kind of toffee toffee, you know? And, I, and I'm like, 
Seriously. So you don't spoil. Spoil. I've never had a milk spoil on me when I put it outside. It just gets tough. That's all it does. I mean, if you guys say to keep it fresh, yeah, I understand that because whenever I put it in the counter, it's definitely not fresh. But mold, mold? What? I've never seen mold inside my milk. Never. What? Okay, every day you learn something new. You see? That's why my live videos are important sometimes. You guys teach me host duties. It will carry a smell. Alright, let me turn on the let me turn on the blender. Let us get the protein shake blend up right now. Okay. some good protein shake right here and we're now ready to consume and get to the gym i'm gonna have probably like half of it right now and what do you guys say about the milk now that's the reason why it gets hard yeah it gets hard when it's outside like it gets tough and it gets like cracky cracky sometimes okay i understand what you guys are saying now mm -hmm. i get what you guys are saying I see. Can work up on your. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It's uh, the and the washer. Okay, give me a second. Hold on, guys. Let's get let's get to the laundry real quick. Oh yeah, I'm on the live. Right now. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Give me a second. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah. It's alright. You're good, man. Give me a second. Because I was finishing these laundries. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to have to take these out. My laundry. I was finishing my laundry. But um, I just need to take it out, the, uh, the dryer. Give me a second. One second.
Why? All right, guys, I'm back now. All right, guys, so, um, let me go, oh, God. Yeah. Uh, let me put that way about the milk right here. Oops, don't want my phone to fall. All right, there you go. Sweet. So I, I have my shake done. I'm going to taste it. Uh, hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, guys, it's 8 o'clock. I think I'm going to get ready now to get to the gym. This is a house outside looks at 8 o'clock. And trust me, when it, when it comes down to the summertime, it is going to get even brighter. At 8 p.m., it will get brighter in the summertime. So this is how it looks right now at 8. Miss Velma Gill said, my youngest son in college visiting this week and I can't wait to see him. Oh my Lord, I can only imagine. Just like with my grandma, she can't wait to see me. But hopefully I get to go home this summer. Even if it's my birthday for like a week, I'm thinking about it. Hopefully my internship goes well. I make some good money and uh, I'm able to, to go back home for at least a week. You know, so that's the plan for this summer. But yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna get ready to get to the gym now. and. Uh, Thank you guys for coming on tonight and remember to like this video like the live if you haven't yet like it so i'll see you guys tomorrow maybe yeah let me show you guys my face before i head out yeah so this is me it's a little dark but yeah yeah so i'll see you guys tomorrow and take care have a wonderful night guys stay blessed and stay safe remember to like up the video all right remember to like it up uh, um, thanks to Michelle James for saying enjoy your workout. Thank you. Hopefully I do. So yeah, much love guys. Big up in yourself. One love. Out.